Good afternoon, this is Mark from Pittsville Ford. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a walk around on this 2021 Ford Bronco Sport Badlands. As you can see, this vehicle is finished in cyber orange. And I wanted to start off this video by parking it out in the direct sunlight so you could really take in that beautiful tri-coat metallic paint. But for video purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and back this vehicle into the shade. That way you don't get my shadow over top of the vehicle. So let me quickly back this Bronco up and we'll resume. All right, so I have the vehicle now in the shade. And as I had mentioned, this is the 2021 model year Bronco Sport. It is the first model year of this vehicle. And in my personal opinion, it is the most well-rounded vehicle that Ford offers today. As far as compact utility vehicles are concerned, this is an absolute class leader. Each Bronco Sport has standard full-time four-wheel drive. And also standard is a 1.5 liter, three-cylinder EcoBoost engine. This vehicle being the Badlands trim means that it is standard with the upgraded motor, which is a two liter, four cylinder EcoBoost engine that puts out roughly 250 horsepower. And that's paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. If you were one of the few to get the first edition Bronco Sport, you'd also have the upgraded two liter, four cylinder EcoBoost. But otherwise, the only way you can get that engine in the Bronco Sport is if you opt for the Badlands, much like the vehicle you're looking at here. I'm gonna start around the back with one of my absolute favorite features, which is this split folding rear hatch. As you can see on the left side here, you have a label for glass. On the right side, you have a label for the door. I'm gonna go ahead and press the glass first. You can see under here, you have a handle and you can actually lift the glass up separate from the hatch. This is extremely useful if you have something super long that won't fit in the vehicle that you could stick out the back, much like a surfboard as Ford uh, depicts here. You can see, well, I'll have, to, I'll have to flip the camera upside down. There is a U15 original Bronco wagon with a surfboard out the back rear hatch. Nice little Easter egg. That's something you can also visibly see in the rear view mirror. You can drive this vehicle around with the rear glass up, which is super nice. Also nice if you have dogs, they can stick their heads out the back. You can see there's ample room back here in the cargo area. There's also a few other little Easter eggs back here. You can see you got these grocery bag hooks. They have little lassos on them. Uh, these are really, really handy. This vehicle is also optioned with the cargo management system. This piece right here, I'll pull out my tripod to do a demonstration on this. You can actually fold this and divide the cargo area up into pieces, and you can even use this as a table for the rear hatch. And that seems pretty convenient considering this button right here turns on two rear adjustable floodlights on both sides. And although it's daytime, you can't really put in perspective how much this illuminates the ground, but it's super cool to have. And even better still, on the right side, you have a bottle opener built in to the rear hatch. Really, really neat feature. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my tripod and I'll go ahead and do a demonstration on the cargo system. All right, so standard, the cargo management system is in this position. It's got a little pull on this side. It's magnetized to stay in place. When you fold it flat like this, you can obviously use this surface as a shelf to divide your cargo. There's two locks on the top up here that are knobs. You twist them on both sides, and then you can move it into the second position, which is about here. I'm gonna go ahead and lock that in position. And then on the underside of this part of the shelf, you have two legs that fold outwards. And then this entire piece could be used as a table. So you could be hanging out with the floodlights on at nighttime, enjoying a meal. I also wanted to mention while I'm back here on the right side of the cargo area, you have a 110 volt household style outlet, as well as a 12 volt right here. 
I also wanted to mention that this Badlands is optioned with the Class 2 trailer package, um, which allows you to tow with the 2 liter engine, 2,200 pounds. If you have a Bronco Sport with the 1.5, you can tow up to 2,000 pounds if you have the Class 2 package optioned. I'm gonna go ahead and close the cargo area, which also is fairly straightforward. You got two handles on the inside. You just pull it straight down. And I wanted to show off another exclusive feature to the Badlands, and that is a hidden storage compartment that is located under the passenger side rear seat. You can see it's a rubberized little storage compartment. You could put something in there and it would be very secure. Another standard feature on the Bronco Sports is the Molly Strap system, as well as these storage bags, almost as if you have a book bag built into the back of both the front seats. It's pretty cool. You also have a USB-C, USB, -C, USB um, input right there, as well as another household style outlet. That's on this vehicle in particular. Not all Bronco Sports will have the same equipment in the rear. You can see that the floor is actually a rubberized material. That is standard on the Bronco Sport Badlands, although it does come with these standard cloth floor mats. You can see up front, another thing that they do that's really cool on the Badlands is you get the orange accent colors, which with the cyber orange exterior really coincides with the interior. Same deal up front, rubberized floor, standard cloth floor mats. All right, so I've moved inside of the Bronco Sport. You can see here's the key, standard Bronco logo on the front side. Unlock, lock, if you press this button twice here, it pops open the hatch, it doesn't fully open it, you have to lift it, and then you have your panic button here on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and put you into wide angle so you can see a little better. The push to start button is on the right side of the steering column here. You push your foot down on the brake and press that button, the vehicle starts right up. You see that this vehicle has the standard 8 inch touchscreen. There is no optional larger screen on the Bronco Sport. This is standard across the board. Also, standard is Ford's Sync 3 system, which comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Although you do have to use a tether or a cord, and those can be found down here USB C and USB to connect to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. I really like that there's this shelf on the underside here. It's the perfect size to put your wallet or your keys. On the left side here, you can see you have your headlight switch as well as another trunk popper from the inside. You also have your dimmer switch for the gauge cluster. You can see it's just a rotary switch for the lights. I'm gonna leave them in automatic for now. I also wanted to mention window switches, mirror controls on the driver's side door panel. And then in the center here, you can see you have your rotary switch for the eight speed automatic transmission. You turn it in order to select the gear. The M in the middle is for manual mode. And with the two liter engine standard, you get the paddle shifters on the steering wheel. This is the only way you can get the paddle shifters on the steering wheel. And as I had mentioned before, this engine only comes with the Badlands or first edition Bronco Sport models. Below that is the GOAT mode selection which GOAT stands for goes over any terrain. You can see when I turn this switch, it changes the different drive modes. One of the ones that is only available on Badlands is the rock crawl mode, which as you can see, immediately turns on the front camera. So you can off-road without a spotter. Really, really cool feature. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back into normal. I also wanted to show off your standard size glove box, just a normal glove box here. The center console is pretty neat in the sense that you also have charging options in here. And Ford even gives you two channels on both sides, this left side and this right side. So if you wanted to charge a device and have the charger plugged in here, you could still access it by running the cable through here with the console closed and be able to charge your device. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights and I'm gonna walk outside of the vehicle so we can see what the LEDs look like on this Bronco Sport. You can see the LED 
front headlights look fantastic on this vehicle. Another key feature that Ford is very proud of on this vehicle is the Safari roof. See that the roof line sort of kicks up right here. And that is in order to give you more headroom for the second row passengers. I have the seat currently in my position as a six foot one adult. I'm hopping back here and you can see I have tons of room, which is really awesome considering that this is a compact SUV and it will have absolutely no problem transporting four full-size adults. While I'm out here, I also wanted to show off the gas door in order to open it. You just push it in, it pops right out. You can see there's a little Easter egg in here. There's the different chassis codes for the original Bronco. And you also have a capless fueling system in here that's standard on every Ford model now. I'm gonna go ahead and pop open the hood. You can see that this latch, you pull it twice, and that'll actually open the hood right up. And we can take a look at this optional two liter engine. See here is the two liter four cylinder engine. And it fits quite nicely in the front of this Bronco Sport. As I had mentioned, you're gonna get the most performance out of this motor with 250 horsepower. And like I had said before, it's only a engine that you can get in a Bronco Sport Badlands or first edition. All right, that's where I believe I'm gonna wrap up this video. If you have any questions about this vehicle, I'm gonna leave my email. And as I had mentioned before, my name is Mark and this vehicle is now offered for sale by Pittsville Ford in Pittsville, Maryland. We do have another Bronco Badlands Sport in stock currently if orange isn't your color, but this is my absolute favorite color and I'm super happy to show this one off. Alrighty, that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I really appreciate you watching. Thank you.